we're going to take a look at an old, very old Sony portable CD cassette radio that is dead. And this thing's definitely not even worth spending any time on, but uh, it was asked to look at it as a favor. So let's see if we can get this old beast working. I've been told that there appears to be a problem with the power connector. Here's a CFD V10, Playboy edition. And I've been uh, led to believe that it doesn't work. That there's a problem with the, the power. We have no power. Now these Sony Ghetto Blasters had a ridiculous number of screws to take out of it. They're all marked with an arrow and uh, I'm going to actually take out a few too many here but uh, uh, basically it has uh, three or four of them in the bottom, uh, four on the sides and there's one right down the middle that uh, is easy to miss. <laughs> these ones you actually don't have to take these ones out but uh, if you want to lift the top cover off like for example to change the handle then you would take out these black ones but uh, I took these out didn't need to. The one I've missed is right down between the tape deck and the CD player and it is holding it together. And it's covered with dust so I don't even see it at this point. I'm trying to figure out what the heck is holding this thing together. Once I found that stupid screw that you access by actually putting a screwdriver up between the cassette player and the CD player, uh, it's right in the middle of the set you can see it there anyway once I got the dust out of there and got that screw out it was uh, pretty easy to take the front off and I didn't have to uh, remove the rest of it to do it I'm going to remove the power transformer and the power plug now because this is likely where the problem is going to be on this unit there are three screws one that holds the power connector to the back and then two that hold the power transformer in place. Now the battery terminals are actually soldered on so there's not a lot of clearance. You can't just remove the power transformer and work on it. It's going to be a little bit cramped in there but it's easy to do the work. Yeah, once I get the power transformer out you'll see where the problem is. I really don't leave much slack on these wires. On this one is this uh, on the uh, on the power AC power inlet. There's a switch that selects whether you're on battery or on AC power. And when you plug the cord in, it activates the switch. As you can see here, the solder is all cracked around on the AC uh, selector switch. So we're going to resolder that, and that should get this radio back up and running. Pretty common problem on these Sony's. This radio belongs to one of my daughter's co-workers, so while I'm fixing this, she's snapchatting video of me fixing this live to her friends. <laughs> so you might hear her in the background just making some noise a bit there as she's clicking her phone on and off.
just going to center the tuning indicator, set it down at zero at the bottom end of the dial, and it should go from zero all the way to ten, and then everything's uh, synchronized. So, a little bit off there, we're going to move it up to ten, that should do it. Again, get over the number of screws that these units have in them. Of course, the one that was holding this one up, getting this thing apart, was the one right in the middle at the top, which is accessed through here. The little arrow there. I couldn't see it with all the dust and dirt that was in there, but that was the one that was holding this one up, holding this one together when I was trying to take it apart. One screw was holding everything up. Okay, final test time. the cassette deck out. Not that I know that if they use a cassette deck or not, but we'll see whether it plays. Rewinds. Cassette works. Try the CD player, see if the CD player works. Quite a common problem from uh, just inserting and removing the cord. Those connections break all the time. That's how to go about fixing it. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one real soon.